are Strings Attached, Mother Daughter Knitting Podcast, and it's our Christmas episode, even though we're filming it on the 26th, <laughs> because things got a little busy and we didn't get it done beforehand. Um, that kind of sucks because a lot of my stuff, my FOs, I already gave away. Yeah. So, we'll talk about them and then I'll have to put pictures in, because I talked about them before when they were whips and I really wanted to show them, but it just didn't happen. Just didn't get it all done. No. Had enough time to get the knitting done, but not the podcasting. <laughs> so, okay. Anyway, um, we'll start with, what do you want to start with, FOs? Sure. Okay. Yep. I guess I can go first. Okay. Um, I have, well, let's see how many FOs I have. I have two sweaters, two hats, and an old FO. Okay. So I have five. Okay, so I made two hats. <clears throat> Um, this one was supposed to be for me, but it um, it was kind of an experiment with my gauge, and I um, it's too small. <laughs> so I think I'm going to give it to one of my nieces. But anyway, it's knit out of Cascade um, Sport 220. I think burgundy and cream puff are the colorways. And the pattern is um, it's by Callista U, and I think it's just called, like, Baby Snowflake Hat. It's oh, a free pattern. I've used it a million. I've talked about it. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, yeah, Baby this Snowflake is your Hat. sixth one. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. this is my sixth one. Um, I made four for my girls and then I made another one for my boss, which that was one of my FOs today too. Um, I'll insert a picture right now, picture. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one, but I really wanted this one to be for me because it, it matches the ones I made for my babies, but whatever. It does not fit my head. She'll just have to make another. Yeah, let's try it on just for fun. See, it doesn't come down. <laughs> it's so close. I thought if I, when I blocked it, I thought maybe, but no, it's still too small. But isn't it so pretty? I love it. I made my little pom-pom. I was going to use a faux fur pom-pom, but since it didn't fit my head, I didn't want to use my faux fur pom-pom that I bought for a hat for myself. <laughs> I think for a kid, the, uh, the little yeah. yarn pom-poms. That it can be washed easily. Yeah. Mm. So, okay. So then there's my two hats. The other one that I showed a picture of was knit with Barocco um, Vintage in black and gray, or whatever their colorway names are, I don't know. But it was leftover yarn from my um, throwover sweater, which is another one of my FOs. I'll put a picture in right here. Um, I knit it for my sister, Becky. Uh, it's the throwover by Andrea Mowry. I knit it in all um, Barocco Vintage. Um, I don't remember the colorway names. It was like, the pink one was like, dashing or something like that it was some weird name i don't know and the black was charcoal i think black white gray pink you know they look colors. like hot pink and white and black and gray yeah That's what it looked like to me yeah it was really yeah it turned out really pretty striking and then mom made one and she put the little stripe pattern on the sleeve cuff mm -hmm. like right before the bind the ribbing and I saw it in the pattern. She just added that. And I really liked it. So I did it on this one, too. Just needed something at the bottom. Oh, yeah. And it yeah. was just fun at the end. It had something mm -hmm. to do at the end of the sleeve. Yeah. Looked forward to it, you know. Oh. Yeah. We both made them a little <laughs> bit longer than the pattern called for. Yeah. Because it was made pretty short, the pattern. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I just kind of knit and did the decreases on the sleeves until I got it to where it was long enough. Yeah. But it I haven't seen beautiful. it on my sister. She, she didn't try it on for me at Christmas. But she said it fit her really well when she tried it on at home. So we'll go down there and get a picture of her too. Yeah, I'll make her. She hates getting her picture taken. Yeah. I'll make her do it. <laughs> and then, okay, so my other FO is the um, my second Jupiter crop. I'll put a picture right here. There you go. Um, I knit this for my sister Julie, and it fit her perfectly. Um, I put a picture of her wearing it as well. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it turned out, I mean, so nice. Yeah. The color scheme. I like it better than the one I made for myself. It's it like is, burgundy really and turquoise. Pretty. It's knit out of Cascade 220 Sportway as well. And it fit her perfect. Yeah. I'll put the um the colors that I used in the description box because I can't remember them all right now. Because they have all have names, you know. But yeah. it fit her perfectly. She loved it. Cause she she requested it. That's the whole reason. I've been trying to keep it a secret, but that's the whole reason that I even made another one. Is because when she saw mine on the podcast. She was like, oh, I wouldn't mind having one of those crop sweaters. So I was like, <laughs> there okay, you go. Done. <laughs> done. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, so I talked about my two sweaters mm -hmm. and my two hats. And then, okay, so I have an old FO hanging up back here. So this is a, I don't know if you can really see the collars that well, but this is an old FO from probably five or six years ago that I made. Yeah, can you 
Can you bring yeah, it forward bring it just a little bit and put it in the... And um, it matches this. No, just bring the whole thing. Like, oh, okay. Can you lift it? Yeah. It's pretty lightweight. Just put him right up there. <laughs> Cover up your you face. Talk with about it. that. Too. <laughs> so, okay, this is um, knitting pure and simple uh, men's neck down pullover. I've used it five thousand times. It's a great pattern. It's super easy. It's on Ravelry. Um, all the yarn is just leftover Christmas yarn from like stockings and stuff that mom has made. I keep looking off to the distance. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the camera. <laughs> but anyway, um, I forgot it had that multi green. Yeah. So these are all yarns that you used on stockings. Yeah. And, yeah. and so, and I was living here at the time. I mean, I made this. It's down scraps. It has to be more than five or six years ago. I started it a long time ago and I finished it like five or six years ago. I remember I had it on the needles for a long time. Yeah. Because, yeah, it was kind of, you know, it's a Christmas sweater. So, it's kind of like not a big deal if I got it done, you know, whatever. I didn't care. So, I had it forever on the needles. But, yeah, it's, I ended up having to order this um, red and green, like, variegated stuff. It's Encore. Um, I can't remember. Oh, it's been forever ago. I don't remember the colors. But, it's Encore yarn. And, I ran out of it. And, Mom had got it um, at the yarn store in town, which is now closed. So, I didn't know what it was. It was just in a ball. So I didn't even know it was Encore. So I ran out of it like, I don't know, like this far down on, on the very last sleeve or something. And it was, I was like, man. So I had to go on a hunt and I don't even know. I think she said, I think I got it at that yarn store. So I don't know how I found it, found out what it was, but I finally figured out that it was Encore and I found it online and ordered it. But it was a quite an adventure trying to find that they green had, yarn. They had the same yarn that was in one of my knitting catalogs. Oh, maybe that's how Horse we found it. Or something. They had the same brand. So it might have been in that one. I just remember like running out <clears> and I was <throat> almost done with the sweater and having to look and look and look for it. And oh, it was a pain. But yeah, so it's got like red cuffs and then green and red and then this white and this glittery purple stripe in it. And I wear it at Christmas time about once or twice a year. And I wanted to wear it in here today, but it's so hot in this room. There's a wood stove burning in here, and I couldn't have it on. Yeah, so I need to make me one now. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. So it is on Mom's new mannequin. Yeah, and I haven't named her yet. Let's see. Let's take her shirt off. <laughs> Let's undress her. Yeah. The podcast. Yeah. See how pretty she is. Isn't that cool? So this, I got this for Mom for Christmas. So she can, because she makes, we knit, obviously, and have our podcast, but she makes, um, shirts all the time which if you watch our podcast you know that but i thought she could use it in her sewing room to yeah. like make alterations or whatever okay i haven't named it yet. yeah well she needs a name i could give it a name like Ronelda. thelma thelma <laughs> susie i don't know I'll, she'll, have, she'll have a name let's just put her right back where she was <laughs> thelma lou thelma lou <laughs> it's probably as good as anything thelma lou that's like the Mayberry Andy Griffith show. <laughs> Film so, okay. That's all of my FOs. Oh, okay. So, let's move oh. on to Mom's FOs. Oh, we're both wearing a couple of crickets. I made that one to wear at, with our Christmas party. And these are new cricket FOs, not mm -hmm. old. Yeah, and the sweatshirt, that one I got. Tree. Just, you know, ordered from Kohl's. It really it's is soft. a nice sweatshirt. It's got the little holes for your thumbs. Yeah, and it's not hot. Yeah, and this one, it's this good. sweatshirt I found at our local Real King. <laughs> And it's hooded, but I made it so I could wear it um, probably through Valentine's Day with the snow. Sure. Why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not just quote unquote Christmas. It's winter. Mm -hmm. So, but I also wore it to one of the parties. So, <laughs> so that was the two cricket things I did. And I um, got two more little new stockings done. I guess I don't need to show the names necessarily. Okay. Probably not. Um, this was for my little great grandson, <laughs> and it's so got it's like camo. camo. Yeah, it's got camo mixed with the red and white. And this was for one of the other little great granddaughters. How cute! Mm -hmm. It's got the red and top. Oh yeah, and green and green heel. Yeah, and uh, Mallory wanted me to show. Of course, I had I already had made this year. That was too. You don't have to show them like. Boom, like every yeah. single one. But, but I, I'd already showed it. These were for her little girls, Alice and Maggie. And mm -hmm. then this one was for one of my other little granddaughters. Yeah. Those, those oh, five. this year. Five well, and one this year. year. And like a couple months. Yeah. The original one, I can show this name. This was my original <laughs> one, Mallory's. When she was little, two years old or something. Oh, this, really? So like 91? 
Yeah, I didn't have it for your first birth or your first Christmas. Well, did you make it when um, Brock was a baby? Maybe. Because they look very similar. So what was he, 90 or 91? He's two years. Okay. So 91. <laughs> Probably 91. Anyway, it's just Red Heart yarn. And it's pretty good sized. It is. It's really big. And then Brock was the next one. More presents and, for me. Uh, it made his very similar. Mm-hmm. Like that. Just the opposite colors. So, through the years, work. I've made Just, like, all... pass them through, and I'll take them and put them over here. Okay. There's <sighs> all different colors. Uh, obviously, was going... Had red and white and green and white going there. So, these are some of the, like, very soon after the two original yeah, ones. Yeah, these are all these. originals. Yeah, these are old. Mm -hmm. Well, Riley's is not as old, but, yeah, kind of old. Well, he's... Yeah. He's getting there. So... <laughs> That one's got a pinky. Aww. Just, I try to make them all different and I've got all these scraps of yarn. I like it when you add like a non-Christmas color in. It's well, yeah, I like to do that with the girls and well, with the boys too. And I have, I have five, I guess four, six more of them in the other garage, I forgot. Six more stockings? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Colors. Okay, that one got a little short toe. I don't know what happened that year. I guess I bet you ran, ran out of yarn. yarn. <laughs> it does but I really like that variegated Christmas. I bet color. you ran out of yarn. I bet it didn't. This was all camel for great grandson. Does that one have a short toe too? It does. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's the same like, year. Oh well, they stretch. Same year. They stretch. Okay, this is the one that I'm. I copied my for my sweater off of. It sure is. I loved it when you made it. I loved it so much that I copied. And that little girl is seven. She will be eight. So okay, you were making it before she was probably before she was born. Yeah, probably was. So, that's how old my Christmas sweater is. There's one. This one I put, one. that's the only one that's got an initial knitted in. Mm -hmm. And then just, you know, sparkle. Oh, and I made the son-in-laws. I had, I've got this sparkle. pattern. And I made all the son-in-laws a big old So, the men get mittens. Yeah, they get mittens. <laughs> not socks. This was not filled as full either. I don't know. It's harder to fill men's. It's harder to buy anything for men. You know, I put socks men in Men buy sock. what they want. Everybody got a sock and a sock. <laughs> Men buy what they want. It's hard to like. <laughs> yeah, they do. If they want it, they just go get it. They don't really care. And they don't want very many little things, I have found. I needed that one. Okay, so for um, one one fall, we had a local place had a bazaar. Mm -hmm. And um, we thought, well, we'll make all winter long. We worked and worked. And I made stockings and mm -hmm. you made things. And then they really didn't sell very well. No. I think I sold one. Anybody that knits knows that you really can't make your money trying to knit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I didn't even have them priced high and they didn't sell. No. I think we had, what, $15 on them? Maybe. Yeah. So, this was this was one that was left over. And so, we call it mine, Mamma. <laughs> and then, you can, can we tell me it? about this one. So, <laughs> <laughs> so ugly. <laughs> so, that one, it was when primitive decorations were really popular. And, I mean, those are primitive colors. Yes, yeah, definitely primitive. For some reason, they don't look good together on a stocking. <laughs> but they look good for a man. <laughs> they look like Jamaica. Yeah, we call it Bob Marley. Jamaican. <laughs> Bob Marley sock. <laughs> we call it Jamaican. <laughs> it's um, slightly hideous, but it's a funny joke. Mm -hmm. I knitted this. Actually, it was me that knitted this. Mm -hmm. And I can see why this one did not sell. Because it's hideous. <laughs> but we use it. It's got I have one friend it. that's all primitive. I'm surprised she didn't buy it. Who? Oh. Jean. Mm -hmm. She looked at it. She did, didn't she? Yeah, but I think she didn't want to spend 15 Because she only had one. Yeah. I think she just didn't want to, like, She probably like, already had money. her stockings that she uses through the years. Because there wasn't a matching one to go for her and her husband. So. so, I really don't have any other FOs. Those are your FOs? Well, okay, whips then. Lainey, it's enough. Okay. This would be acquisition, maybe. Okay. Okay. I'm still working. I didn't show it last time. The Weekender. But I'm kind of going to town on it now, getting back on it. So I've you got have done a lot. I two more, two or three more inches before I start the, the top part. So cool. that's the weekend by Andrea Mallory. <laughs> Mallory, not Mallory. Mallory. I have really it's hard a to hard say. time Mallory. with that. It's Andrea a hard one. Mallory. Okay. The weekender. So it's the weekender. You've all done that a thousand times. <sighs> this is my second one. Show it like you show your progress. Let me put a progress keeper somewhere. Well, I didn't the last time, but yeah. That's a stitch thing, and I see it. Yeah. That's before. So that's not since the last podcast. Actually, last night, I think I did four. Oh, so, okay. So, I'm, I'm starting. I want to get this done. I think I've got three more inches, 
and I might make it an inch longer than soft. it says. And I did make the bottom, I made both of the front and the back uh, bottoms a little bit longer than what they said. Mm. I don't know if it'll work or not. And this um, is acrylic. Yeah, that'll be nice whenever you steam it. Yeah, this is um, Heartland. Heartland acrylic. Yep. Okay, and then my other one is, Mallory is over here doing her hat, so she's watching. <laughs> Cast on a hat. So, I made that hat in two days. It's fun. So I, I got it really down like to where it. I didn't have the pattern. So yeah. all I could do was the, the ribbing. The ribbing. And this is out of uh, Wool of the Andes Tweed that I made my uh, throwover sweater that was the colors. Yeah. That, and then I'll put the little beige in mm -hmm. it. For the snowflakes. What's this mm -hmm. called? This is called Square Dance Heather and Oyster, Oyster Heather. <laughs> so they're both Heather. Yeah. Okay, and I think I showed this last time. Yeah, you did. Okay. But you didn't know what you were going to make with that thing. And I'm not total for sh sure, but I really like boat neck type sweaters. Mm -hmm. So I, I may try this one. Is that Isabel Kramer? If it's easy. Yeah. yeah. It's Isabel Mycroft. Kramer. My crop is Isabel Kramer. So mm -hmm. let's, let's make it to where you can actually see it. But yeah, that's really cool. That'll look good. That's nice. And that won't choke you. And it is top down. It kind of looks like the weekender, which is bottom up. But it is raglan. Nice. And top down. It doesn't look raglan in the picture, so. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's, that goes but, out. So it's boat neck, but it's also raglan. Yeah. So, okay, that's all for you for whips and. That's it. Okay. So I have one whip right now. Um, it's the Felix cardigan. I wanted to get it done before Christmas because it's for my mother in law, but. I don't think I've even showed this yet. She's got a birthday coming. <laughs> she does, but it's in like two days. So, like, I have Oh, well, that's not going to happen either. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't think so. I showed her it like uh, like this, and she, you know, got to see what it was going to look like. So, hopefully, it's not too big on her. She's tiny. But anyway, this is how far I am. So, I've got the whole, um, like, raglan sleeve thing done. It goes right there. It's got the little lace holes. Oh, you're, you're on, under the I'm on the body. The I've got the arms tied off. I'm on the body. Yeah, you got an inch and a half done. So there. I've got, I don't know, like eight more inches to knit on the body and then put the sleeves on. Because it and is it, a short It's sweater. on like what? What are these? Nines? Tens? Something? Yeah. These are tens. So it's going to go, go fast. It'll go fast. Yeah. But that's being knit out of um, Wool of the Andes Tweed as well in Barn Door Heather. And that I was originally mine. Bought it from mom for her birthday and then... Yeah. I already had one just like it. She already had a sweater made out of purple. <laughs> so I took the yarn. I was going to make something out of it for myself, but then I think my mother-in-law really like it, so I use it for her. Mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, let's see. Do, do acquisitions. So I don't have any more whips. Got a couple of new Notion bags Mom got me for Christmas. I love this one. I love box stuff. And then this is obviously I love because we have the Scottish thing. It's plaid. So I, didn't, I put my hat, this is my hat um, a small bag. Hat, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, those hats and yeah. a couple balls of yarn, because you can make those out of scraps and put them in there. And yeah, I'm going to be playing chicken on mine, but. <laughs> well, it'll be fine. And then mom got me these. I don't really know how to use them, but they're finishing needles. So do you know how to use them? I don't. We'll have to look up the YouTube. I videos. just thought they were really cool. Like it would be easy to get the yarn through. I don't know how to use them. So. See that? See that? Uh, see how that works. And then um, I don't think I've showed these yet, but I use these to make the pom pom on this hat. I haven't seen this. And it, I mean, I've never used them before. It is a perfect little pom pom. Oh, except for I ran out of peach yarn like you halfway didn't have through. To oh, trim it or anything? I ran out of uh, peach yarn and had to use purple, and then it made like this little like mohawk. <laughs> it's got a mohawk. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but if I would have had peach yarn enough <laughs> to do the whole thing evenly, then yeah. It would have been perfect, but it just makes a perfect little circle. So you didn't have to trim it or anything? Just a tiny bit. How much? So you take these, like that. Wow. And you wrap the yarn around this one, and then you shut it, like bring the yarn through these through the end, shut it, bring it over here, wrap it around this one, shut it, and then you take your scissors and cut, like, all the way around in between in that little groove in between there. And then tie it. Then you, yeah, bring yarn up, tie it like two or three times, and then you pull it apart, and then oh, there's yeah. your pom-pom. Voila. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then you can, I, I kind of just barely trimmed it a little bit. It's fun. 
Yeah, I'll have to make one. I have a big one and a little one. I usually just wrap it around my hand, <laughs> tie it and cut it. And then you got all this trimming to do. In this yeah, and they're not as full. No. So I these mean, are really they cool. They could be, but you just don't yeah. usually get them. So, okay. And the next of my acquisitions are Christmas gifts for my mom. So this is my big old bag of yarn. And it is Cascade 220 Heathers. For some reason it's purple with it. I don't know why I keep picking. I did not think this was purple in the online. I thought it was more I, of a. It picked out exactly. She's giving I thought it color. was more of like sandy color with like purple and green and stuff in it. But it's basically, it's purple base. But I'm going to use it. Even I mean, though I just pretty. knitted my. It's kind of. Even though I just knitted my anchor sweater in a purple. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to use it because I really like it. And I've got the same, you know, I've got purple going on. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we're, we're both doing purple. Uh -huh. What's the colorway name? Iridescence. That's what it's called. Yeah. So you're right. That's what you told me. I didn't touch it. I left the receipt in it in case she wanted to ship it back and get a different color because I thought this is a lot like her anchor sweater. It is, but I, I like it. I'm going to keep it. Uh, different kind of yarn. Because my anchor sweater is like, it's a nice sweater, but I wear that thing like like every day for a sweatshirt. Yeah, you do. And it's so. starting to already get kind of bally. Yeah. And the sweater I have in mind for this, if I use it, is more of a, you wouldn't want to wear it as an everyday. It's going to be. What is it? I don't remember what it's called. It's Andrew Maori again, but I'll show it sometime. But I didn't download it yet. But cool. And then I got this. This is actually from Santa. Oh, it's from Santa. Oh, okay. And it was to both of us, kind of. Yarn Swift. So this is a Knit Picks <laughs> uh, Bamboo, right? Bamboo? I think so. Birch. Not Bamboo. I don't really birch. know. Made of Birch. They have all different kinds. Knit Picks Yarn Swift works wonder wonderfully. I used it yesterday and it's really smooth and nice and the yarn doesn't get tangled up. So no more holding the yarn like this while I one person balls. I can't wait to get mine in little balls. I'll have to do it here in a minute. Yeah. It's fun. And then of course, you have to have the yarn baller. Mm -hmm. And it makes these adorable little cakes. There's one that I made. I know this to most people this is like not a big deal, but to me it's a huge deal because to knitters it's a big deal. Yeah, but most people already have one of these. Yeah, but when they got their first one, it was a big deal. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe you haven't had one of these this whole time. Because yeah. I mean, I balled up a whole skein of yarn. I mean, like it takes forever, seconds. especially those big skeins and of then yarn. They, when you're going like this with your hand, mm -hmm. yeah, and, it's, and then someone else on has the back to sit of the chair there and, and you're going around it. Oh, it's a nightmare. <laughs> so yeah, so here's the last cake that I made. I got better as I went. As I went, I got they got tighter and better. But yeah, that was so fun. What is that yarn? Huh? This? Yeah. This is left over from Julie's Jupiter. Ooh, nice hat. I have three. Three nice skeins. Hat. Yeah, I keep thinking about making a hat, but I don't know what coordinating collar to put with it. Cream. I don't have any cream. Hmm. So this was my first skein and it's real loose. It's about to fall oh, apart. It is loose. Yeah, I didn't really know how like fast to go. And then I learned that if you like so you're, you're spinning your thing. If you just do it by itself, it's going to make it looser, especially if you're going slow. If you kind of hold the yarn, like with your two fingers over here and keep the tension tight, it mm. makes a tighter and go yeah. a little faster. It makes a tighter thing. So yeah, here's my first one. It's super loose, but it'll still work. I mean, it'll still knit. Yeah. And it pulls from the middle or from the side, which is awesome. So what's that blue yarn from? That's Julie's My also? Jupiter. Oh. I had one skein left of it. I'm going to make Will a hat out of it because he'll he likes navy. Okay. And then my thing came with a, a yarn bowl. And it's wood. It's Isn't really, that pretty? Yeah, it's really pretty. And it's... So I guess with the, the little cakes, it works. Mm -hmm. The bowls work really well, maybe, with the little cakes. Mm -hmm. So I'll just put the bowl down on the floor mm -hmm. next to me. And it mm -hmm. comes out. Well, you can either have it coming right out of the top or it can come out of one of the holes or the little... Mm -hmm. oh, whatever. But it you came with you my... would not be able to do that with that Brooklyn Tweed <laughs> no. um, shelter. Shelter. <laughs> no. No. So anyway, but I'll have to get me one of those bowls. Yeah. Very cool. Cool. So those are all my acquisitions. And that's all we have to talk about for as far as knitting and stuff goes. Yeah. A yeah. lot of a lot of sewing projects and stuff didn't get done or didn't get shown because they were given away as Christmas yeah, I made, presents. I guess I made five little fleece sweatshirts for great grandkids. We showed a couple of them. Yeah, last I think time. we did. And the last one I made was for grandson. It was the uh, black and green. What do you call that? Buffalo, Buffalo check. check. Mm. It was really pretty. And I was going to make I one see that. for an older, for my grandson. And I didn't get that done, so I'll have to make him one. Maybe I'll show it on the podcast mm -hmm. and get it done. Because I asked him, would you wear one of those? Because he's what? <laughs> 
12. He said, yeah. I told you you would. So I'll you make him one. Me. Yeah, I know. I just, I didn't have time to make it. And I didn't, I don't really have a pattern for him because mm. he's in the small men's and I don't have a pattern. So I'm going to find a pattern. Mm. For yeah. It. It's not like knitting where you can just like go up a needle size and make it a little bit longer. Well, this pattern might have, it's an old pattern and it might have had it, but last year I cut it off like for, at the 12 because I thought, well, last year I made eights, this year I made tens. And I have 12, but it would still be too little for Brady. Mm -hmm. But I cut all that. I think it went up to a size 16, and I cut all that off because... You didn't think you were ever going to I thought, it. well, I could always buy another pattern on sale for four ninety five. And now you don't know where... What, where I just haven't got one yet. Okay. I see. Yeah. I'd rather have a, a men's, and I can progress out and might make some of the other ones. I didn't things. get to see anybody open anything. Yeah. That's sad. You didn't get to see them open your stuff. No. I got to see Julie because she was sitting right next to me. Did you not say Laura? She opened hers right beside me. Or... Oh, yeah. So, okay. So, I gave Julie and Becky those two new sweaters that I made. Mm -hmm. But then I gave Laura. So, this whole time, I made the Miette shawl back in the summer before the girls were born. I mean, probably in like June or something, I made that shawl. And it's oh. beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> but the whole time is actually for my sister, Laura. But I couldn't talk about it because I didn't want her to know because she watches the podcast. So I like modeled it and showed it like it was for me. And I mean, I'd probably wear it because I don't usually wear shawls because I don't like stuff like touching my neck. But <laughs> I'll wear a shawl or a cowl or something if it's cold. But that's just not really my thing. But I had a fun time knitting it and it was really pretty. Will goes, I can't believe you made that. I said, what's that supposed to mean? He's like, well, it just looks like it was like made on the machine. It was perfect. Yeah, it was perfect. And the yarn was the cotton yarn from Pima Cotton Yarn from um, Creek Garden Crafts in Canada. And oh man, it was so such pretty. a pretty yellow color, and she had she fell in love with this uh, yellow lace skirt that she's seen from a company out west because she likes western kind of yeah outfits, mm -hmm. and she almost bought it and then she didn't. I thought, well, I'll buy it for her for Christmas, and then she ended up finding it on sale when they went out west. Mm -hmm. And she got that skirt, so it it's a perfect outfit with Michelle. yeah. We'll have to get her to model it and yeah. take a picture So, of it. Laura does not like sweaters. She won't wear a coat. <laughs> she won't wear a coat in the winter. She hates hot anything. So, that's why I did not make her a sweater. So, I made her the shawl. And I doubt she'll wear it, like, all bunched up around her neck. I bet she'll wear it, like, a wrap. I bought her a like when she goes to church. Um, shawl pin. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I got her and I both one. I guess I could See, I didn't that. even see her open that. I didn't get to yeah. see anybody open anything. We were in the, we did Christmas out in Mom and Dad's. They did, redid their barn. Yeah, we have like a kitchen and stuff out there, and we did it out there, and we were all spread out. I thought it would be nicer this year, you yeah. know, 2020. We'd all be spread out, yeah. more airy, mm -hmm. and it turned out pretty nice. I have to tell my Christmas tree story. Can I tell my Christmas tree story? <laughs> you tell whatever you want. <clears throat> I wanted to have a Christmas tree out there. I mean, I have this Christmas tree, but I'm not going to take that out there. Mm -hmm. So, but I still, we were going to have to open our presents, and I wanted some kind of tree. So, Mallory says, well, get a live tree. That's good. She yeah. gets a live tree. No, I didn't say that. Okay, well, I guess I'm on the live tree. Anyway, so we went to the local tree farm, and uh, I am out of touch with what it costs to buy live trees. You haven't bought a live tree, and how old am I? However old you are, it'd be a year 30, list. What am I, 31? Yeah, so 30, 30 years, years I haven't bought a live tree. So yeah. um, She gets there. She's looking at these, like, nine, really nice. nine, ten foot, like, Douglas fir trees. She's like, ooh, those are nice. That'd be good in there. And I'm like... You're going to spend that much money for one day? And she's like, well, I mean, if it's $30, then no. I'm like, you think that tree's going to be $30? <laughs> it's like, what, $8 a foot? Yeah. I'm going, Probably oh. $9 a foot for the really nice, like the Douglas fir and stuff. I, I wasn't ready for that to be put in the barn, I bucks. thought. <laughs> but as it turned out, I did get one. Got a $30 one. So you can imagine it was, I guess, what you call it. Was a, I was going to say, it was, what do they Charlie call Brown those? Tree. They were like the scrag the stragglers that nobody wanted. So they it were in like, like a big Charlie heap. Brown tree, you know. <laughs> they were like in like this big heap over there on the back of a tractor. She's like, I'll take one of those. <laughs> I did get one of those. I brought it in. It was about six feet and tall. And I put lights on it and I hadn't really decorated it yet. Mm -hmm. I just had got the lights on it. And we went to town uh, the next day or so and... I wanted to get one of those electric uh, fireplaces because I thought, well, that would be a heater out there because, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's mm -hmm. a big building and don't, I don't have a furnace in that part. So we yeah. had to use heaters. So I picked out um, the little fireplace heaters, really mm -hmm. cute, not real big. And we went through the trees and I thought, you know what, if I could just get, if they had them on sale, I'd get just a, a lit moment that was lit. Mm -hmm. 
And even the lit ones was more than I wanted. Just the lighted or however you say that. Pre-lit. Pre-lit. There yeah. you go. <clears throat> was more than I thought. You know, since I have this one, I mean, it's two trees. So anyway, I was looking at a really nice, just regular, plain, artificial tree. It was full, kind of a dark green. Not pre-lit. Not pre-lit. I thought, well, I've got lots of lights. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, he couldn't find the box. The guy couldn't. And he came back down and he said, well, how about that one? He pointed to this this white tree, all decorated. He says, you can have it decorations and all for the same price as this other one, which was a good price, mm -hmm. I thought. And uh, I said, oh, but I don't want white. Yeah. You know, he turned around the other way. He says, what about that one? I'll sell you that one for the same price as this one. And it was pre-decorated. Pre-decorated, pre-lit. Yeah. It had beautiful gold and white decorations with gold yeah. streamers running down it. Yeah. I mean... I, it would have cost, I don't know how much to buy the decorations. Well, the whole tree probably would have been, yeah, if you would have bought the tree. Yeah. And all the decor, yeah, probably it would like have been over three or $400. Yeah. yeah. And so they, I said, yeah, I'll take that one. <laughs> and they, they so, you know, it had to come like as is. So they put that shrink wrap all around it mm -hmm. and we stuck it in the truck and away we went. Nice. So the tree was kind of pretty. So we had a nice tree out there. Yeah. yeah. It was nice. I was yeah. sad that it wasn't going to be in the house, but. Yeah. It is what it is, and our family is. Yeah, it's just starting to. The, when you when they open presents, when you open presents, there's just it's like oh my gosh, there's paper everywhere. And, you know, well, there were three lot. new babies, and it was nice to spread all out. Mm -hmm. It was kind of nice. Yeah. So we'll see what happens next year. But then I think the other girls thought it was fine. You were the only one that was a little disappointed. Yeah, because they didn't have their they didn't grow up in this house. That's true. So they're they've already had their yeah. But you've had yours too now for yeah. thirty years. You've had. Your tradition. I know, but Alice and Maggie will never get to have their Christmas here. Well, maybe sometime. In the chaos. When there's no corona going around, we'll have it back in here one Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then Alice and Maggie won't know the difference. So no, they won't know it's the difference. It's fine. It's just really for me. That'll be their... Their memories. normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was good because the kids were all, I mean... Spread out. Yeah, and they, they went outside. <laughs> It was nice enough they could go and play on the playground. They were outside most of the time. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so that was actually really good. So actually, I don't know if anybody came in the house. I don't think so, which I mean, was good. It was good. It was. Your it was, kitchen was spotless clean when we went out there. Yeah, so, my kitchen was. But I did have eight guests, and we had a good time, but they were everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> they had to find places yeah. to sleep. We had mattresses out. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Yep, it was yeah. fun. So, anyway, that's it for us this time. Yeah. And Merry Belated Christmas to everybody. Mm -hmm. Happy we, New Year coming. And Happy New Year in a couple of days. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're sorry it took us so long to get a new podcast if you were waiting on us because things just got crazy with Christmas. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, do you remember something else? Yes, we were going to talk about this. Oh, this is a, something that's been made for a long time. Actually, not finished. Okay, this is Mom's Christmas Granny Square Afghan. I was attempting to use up a bunch of mine. This is all yarn that she has um, bought for stockings and stuff. Yep. And I'm going to turn the brightness up on this little guy a little bit. Hopefully that is... So it's good. all mixed batch red, white, and green. Yeah, and black border. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of it's darker, some of it's lighter. I think the centers are all white, the same. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Just all different yarns that she's used to make stockings. It's fun. I recognize them. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's from... That stocking and that stocking. But, uh. The only problem is. <sighs> the back. Where's the part that's done first? There is one section that I This got part right here. Told. That's right here. That's it? That's all you've got done? Yeah. That's depressing. Anyway, the back of it's awful. I don't have it. Oh, here's some more down where I've tied it. If you've I've made. some done. Yeah. If you've made a granny square afghan, you know. There's a thousand ends. And if and you if know a trick, we need to know it. Yeah, if there's a better way. Just look at all those ends. I mean, not a nightmare. Well, a nightmare. So, anyhow. so uh, every year I do a few blocks, but then I get tired oh, of them and figure it's attached. Oh, well, maybe I'll do it next year. <laughs> it's attached to the shelf. <laughs> so I just hung it up with it in the show. Yeah, can't really tell. Mm -hmm. If it's just gonna drape over the back of the couch, you might not ever have to sew them in. So the edge ones, so that it doesn't. Yeah, hang. could just trim them off and let it be fuzzy. Be like a no, rag. No, don't do that. But... It was so much work. Don't don't ruin it. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, that's it for us, and um, we will see you guys in three or four weeks. That's usually our schedule these days. Yeah, maybe we'll have a couple of these sweaters done. Yeah, hopefully so. I might even be working on my anchor. You never know about me. Oh, I forgot about your anchor. 
I got it. Mine could have finished it. Yeah. And I've got a new sweater to start yeah. with. Yeah. And I'll yeah. probably have a few more hats because even though I, I've always hated making hats, I really like making those snowflake hats. Cool. Because the pattern keeps you going. Well, you wanted to make uh, cozy up the little, little pine tree. Pine tree one. Yeah, I might work on that one too. Mm -hmm. I mean, Christmas is over, but I can still make it. Yeah. So, okay. See you next time. Whoops. I don't have my remote. I'm not used to this. Bye. Bye. Okay.